Hickok 45 here, and with my favorite pistol of all time. Look at this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Let's just run it dry. All oh, 15 rounds. Yeah. So here we are again with the VP9. And I was all these people that help us out. And we're going to shoot a couple more rounds if that's okay. Yeah, I haven't fought this, fired this thing. And uh, just want to make sure it works. We have a lot of people that just really, really live and breathe HK uh, machinery. <laughs> and yeah. Cowboy, there's the cowboy. And let's see if the gong is out there. He's out there. Yeah. I tell you, good old gun, huh? How about that coffin over there? Did I ever hit it? <laughs> okay, I hear it ringing. I got hit it at least once. Yeah, I didn't use the old coffin joke, did I, this time? <laughs> so, pretty cool gun. Uh, man, H&K makes great guns. Uh, many of their earlier models, one reason I had a little bit of a mental block against them was that they were they're kind of bigger and clunkier to me. Bigger than necessary, put it that way. And then we came out with a VP9 in, in this series, and we've done the smaller one. What was it, the SK or something? Uh, they're just nice, nice firearms. Uh, it would be an idea. It'd be a little, little uh, maybe unique. I don't know. Uh, so I like this gun. It's just, well, why don't you carry it? Why isn't it one of your favorites? Why do we not see it very often? I can't answer all those tough questions. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Too many guns, so little time. What else can I say? How about a hog hiding down there? Oh, I got a ricochet. <laughs> I get him as he's rolling down the hill. Wow. Look at him. He put on a show, didn't he? <laughs> Just from a little splatter. Tell you. Who else? <laughs> this is a lot of fun. And so far, the 17 round mags have worked. Why didn't you come out with them initially, uh, HK? I know some people I, I, I've talked to, you know, really serious uh, gun people that uh, just really, really like H&K products, and, and I do too. Uh, this is a very, very nice pistol, there's, there's no doubt about it, and I think it came with different different back straps, but when you lock into that thing, it's, it's good. I like the little assistant back here for the serration that slips in there that you can really get it. A grip on that and it's got nice front serrations I typically don't use those but uh, yeah just good old gun uh, and I, they have different lots of different models of it now in uh, different configurations since I got into it but I would be very pleased with a mid-size in, in one of these no problem at all I'd probably even shoot it okay let's come out of the holster let's again pretend we're in combat you want to Right, yeah. G.I. Joe. And there's a gong involved in the combat. There we go. <laughs> a little trouble there. Pretty cool. Doesn't take long, does it? Empty all the mags. I'll, maybe I'll shoot one more mag and I'll let you go. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're over here on the uh, the Gong Club range that many of you all bought. And uh, I don't know, maybe it's a Gong Club slash Sunday video range, isn't it? This is where we do I, the Sunday videos and where I meet with some of you all secretly every Sunday morning. And if you're not showing up, make sure you are because you might be seeing this video one day after we record it or it could be 30 days after it was recorded but a sunday video is timely it's recorded just a day or two before you're seeing it so 
I know that's such a valuable thing, right? <laughs> it is nice. We have any announcements or anything going on, I can update you on that sort of thing. All right. John's comedy schedule, so you can go catch him, laugh a little bit, maybe where we're going to be, if we're going to be anywhere, right? I haven't been many places, in, well, both of us have been a lot of places in the last couple of years, but uh, should be ashamed of ourselves, right? Acting normal, but uh, but not as many traveling to like meet and greets and NRA meetings and SHOT Show and all those, those kinds of things. Where we see a, a lot of you, other than Knob Creek, we saw a lot of you ugly people up there. All right, did I just call somebody else ugly? <laughs> yeah, whole oh, cowboy's not been hit enough. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. When you got a nice nine millimeter, you know, polymer wonder, as we we call them, really, it's kind of a derogatory term, I think. Polymer wonder. Jeff Cooper probably came up with that or something. I don't know. Uh, somebody who wasn't fond of them. I don't know. But they are just so much fun to shoot. They're very effective. They're very reliable. Almost all of them. And uh, yeah, again, hope you're not one of those old fuds like me. And all you think exists is a 1911, you know, or a revolver. Those are sweet. But uh, tell you what, uh, hope you haven't let the 21st century or even part of the 20th century bypass you, okay? Because uh, these things, whether it's an M&P or a Glock or a Ruger, or a Sig, you name it, they are they are great shooters, and they are utterly reliable. They really are. The magazines, it's not like back in the 70s when finding a reliable magazine sometimes was a challenge, you know, for like even a, a 1911 or other that you could really rely on 100 percent, or uh, even on a maybe a Browning high power it wasn't quite as hard to find a reliable mag unless you're trying to feed hollow points but these new guns they just feed anything hollow points hardball anything magazines are utterly reliable whether it's hk glock or anybody sig and uh you know just just wonderful things you should be experiencing them and this one is nice. Uh, so I, uh, again, I apologize for being remiss and not bringing out the HK. Uh, I, I see it all the time in the safe, you know, but that, there's really not enough. It, it doesn't, <laughs> it wants more than just a love pad. It wants to be brought out and shot. So now I've got 17 round magazines. It's a real pistol. Uh, I'll, I'll maybe shoot it more often. So anyway, the HK VP9 says right on the slide. That's how I know what it is. And uh, that's my notes. So, uh, you know, many of you carry this thing and uh, you really like it in some configuration, the smaller ones or, or this one. So I understand your love for it. I really do. They're, they're just, they are hard to beat. I say that a lot, don't I? Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in, improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastall. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastall for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastall.com, talongungrips.com, and also while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.